Hey guys, in this video, let's go ahead and take a look at something called Time Editor here in Maya. So if I press play, you can see I have a very simple uh, loop, animation loop of this uh, baby dragon that I made in uh, ZBrush. And this would be a good uh, character to maybe uh, use for our Time Editor example. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press stop and I'm going to go to Windows and go to Animation Editors and then click on Time Editor. Once you click on the Time Editor, you can see three icons um, in front of you. And now if you select your uh, mesh, and in my case, I'm going to select the, the group uh, with the mesh and, um, and the joins. And I'm going to simply press plus. As soon as I press plus, you can see this clip um, has been created, this orange clip. And the cool thing about Time Editor is that it's very similar to kind of a video editing environment, which will allow you to quickly control uh, your clips in a maybe more efficient way than using keyframes sometimes, right? So, uh, for example, uh, with this clip, one of the first things I would like to do is I would like to trim the access of frame 1 and 25 because my animation is simply from 2 to 24. So I don't need this frame 25. So what I can do is I can go to this uh, icon here, the trim mode, and I can just simply trim my clip to um, whatever I need it to be. Another thing I could do is, let's say I want uh, to go from 24 to maybe my animation needs to be, for whatever reason, 48. So how do I loop this only twice? Well, there's a, a, a loop icon, so I can click on that, and I can just simply drag this out. And now you can see that a, uh, a loop has been created. And for whatever reason, let's say it doesn't perfectly match with, with whatever um, frame you're shooting for and in my case honestly I need to be on frame uh, zero so let's go ahead and drag this just like that so now my animation is going to start on zero and let's say I want it to end on, on frame 48 right so I have all this uh, extra uh, space here so what do I need to do next well I would like to scale this uh, or adjust the time of the clip to uh, just go maybe four frames more, right? Well, because it's a loop, I can't just simply, if I grab this uh, time scale and attempt to uh, move it, you can see that it's actually gonna create more loops uh, for my clip, and that's not what I want. So one of the things, things you can do in the time editor is you can group your clips. So if I have this selected, I can click on this button here, which is called the group. And now once my two of my um, clips are uh, grouped, I can now select the scale mode and I can just simply scale the entire group to the frame that I need it to be. So in this case, let's say it's 48. If you open the group, you can see how the scale is affecting both clips at the same exact um, rate, right? So, so same size. And now if I play my animation, I have a double loop to frame 48. So as you can see, you have a lot of uh, great control using the time editor and I just kind of uh, wanted to show you like a basic sneak peek. Another cool thing you can do in here is if I drag this back down, uh, let's say I want to jump out of this group. So I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to do ungroup. So I'm going to select this and do ungroup. So now I'm just back to the original clip. I can click on this clip. I can do control C and I can do control V. So now I have two of them. And the cool thing, cool thing about uh, the time editor is that if you have two separate animations, let's say one is flapping his wings and the other one is maybe gliding, right? Well, one uh, fun thing you could do is you can overlap the clips and you can create kind of a transition effect, just like, again, just like you do in the video editing software. And that will um, give you a lot of really cool uh, blends between separate animations that would be uh, played seamlessly, right? So just a very powerful way to control your uh, clips, your animation clips. And uh, that's pretty much it. I just want to show you kind of a basic 
overview of the time editor. If you want to jump back into the timeline, you can always just right click and go to bake. And once you click on bake, you can go to um, bake to scene and delete. As soon as I do that, um, I can now close my time editor. And if I select my uh, joins, um, all the keys from the time editor that all the work that we did have been transferred over to this timeline. And now if I press play, I can see that the character is, um, you know, flying and it's using specifically uh, 48 uh, frames. So a really cool uh, feature here in Maya. So take a look at, take uh, advantage of it. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in, in the next one.